Performing artists are in COVID-19 limbo. How to bring back audiences. A brainstorm from the Boston Lyric Opera. Recently, the BLO unveiled a mobile street stage. This roving 26-foot-long custom trailer delivers music via pop-up concerts. Today's mini-show takes place on the Greenway along Boston's Rose Wharf Plaza. The concept is bringing opera to you. Little snippets of very famous arias, arias that are encouraging, arias that help take the cloud out of, out of whatever uh, someone may be going through. This is mezzo-soprano Zoray Rodriguez's first official performance since the pandemic began. As any musician can tell you, the fact that performing arts have basically been canceled until to be determined, it has been difficult, but we're making it through. After receiving temperature checks, approximately 30 audience members can enter this designated outdoor space. All of them remain 25 feet away from the musicians. During the fall, Street Stage took their show on the road eight times. Even though it's kind of hazy and rainy, it is completely inspiring that there were people out here. When she's not performing, Rodriguez keeps busy by teaching voice and piano. A native of Miami, she has sung since childhood. I always sang in church and it was always a vehicle for me to express myself and have fun. <laughs> Like you feel everything and at the same time it is so vulnerable to be able to share something that your body creates with somebody. I guess if I can explain why I chose opera it's because it encompasses everything in the arts. It's just a very fulfilling art form. Beautiful and street stage hibernated during the really cold months, but they're warming up the engines. The mobile stage will be back on the road with a season opening performance on April 28th in Lincoln. We'll link to more information on our website and we want to go back to happy puppy grooming for just one minute. You saw Veronica at the top of the show. She is open for business. She has put a hold only on new clients and that's just temporarily. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We hope to see you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Good night, everyone.